Hello there, I'm Lara. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I am sewing up style or attempting to for myself and for my family and then documenting my attempts as I go along the way. Um, today's video is the July installment of the Embrace the Lace collaboration that I do with Shalisa from So She Designs and from uh, with Grace from So Lovely with Grace. This month we decided to do a pattern, all of us doing the same pattern, but putting our own personal spin on it. So, and of course it's using lace. This month we chose new look pattern 6624 right here. We had our choice. I chose to do the sleeveless version and then um, there's two choices for skirts. One with the um, whatever this is ribbon <laughs> and then with the lace on the bottom or you can just do a plain skirt there without any um, embellishments. Then the shirts, this one has lace across the top and then lace across the bottom. Um, and this one, so that's view B. And then of course view A has the sleeves and it doesn't have any embellishments either. So you could, you know, do any of a combination of all of those things, of course. So I like this pattern. Um, the skirt was super easy to make and I think it actually looks kind of nice on me. Um, I chose my fabrics. I kind of got them over a period of time. Um, we've been planning this video for several months, probably since March. Um, and so as time progressed, I just kind of kept looking for patterns, I mean, sorry, fabrics that I thought would be nice. And I found this lovely cotton. It's got little daisies on it um, from Joann's. And I thought that is absolutely the perfect fabric for my Embrace the Lace video. So I got that fabric and then I already had this eyelet fabric. As you can see, it's the same fabric that I used for this shirt. So um, I'm not sure that was the best choice and I will show you why in just a little bit, but I do like the way the shirt looks with the eyelet fabric. So I was happy to use the rest of my eyelet fabric in that you know pattern I have some others that I'm going to I'm going to try to use up as well but I was happy to use that up um, and get that out of my stash and into a garment I got the laces from Walmart um, this lace and this the bottom lace here are matching and then and I'll put in some pictures and then this cute little Daisy lace that goes just matches all of that um, is along the the top and the um, you know this this outside. Putting on the lace trims was very very simple because all you do was line it up and stitch over the top of it. I really like the way the lace looks um, in this in the seams here and then along the bottom as well. I am sure as I wash this shirt. These will get wrinkled, but they iron really easily. They're just a, I think they're a polyester lace, so you wouldn't want to get it too hot, the iron too hot, but um, just a pressing cloth over the top of it and you will be back in business. Everything will lay flat. I did not, um, even though I kind of did this version, I did not put the ribbons on because, um, with the daisies, uh, all you know, the daisy pattern of the fabric, it I felt it would just be too busy, too much. I had planned on doing inserted lace. I wanted to do that for this project, but um, when I found the daisy lace, I mean the daisy fabric, it was just not going to work. <laughs> so it would just be too much. Um, any challenges to this pattern? Um, I think the fit. Of the shirt is off just a bit um, otherwise well and then I had a challenge getting so this is supposed to be a casing and my um, so there's a whole story about my sewing machine my new sewing machine as of May 
but I was having troubles getting the buttonholes to work and um, so I just kind of was like you know what drawstring because it's supposed to have a drawstring or elastic waist you could just do an elastic and so I chose to do the elastic I don't think it made a huge difference um, but I'll never know uh, there's a little bit more space in the sides here than I think my body needs um, I feel a little like it it's very boxy um, and if I could have taken in the sides actually a half an inch at least it probably would lay better on my body because of I'm just my upper body is kind of blocky so it accentuates that about my body that doesn't mean it looks bad and um, you know like it's not a bad pattern it's not a bad shirt I love the shirt I think I did a really good job on it but because I did such a good job on it meaning I French seamed the insides by the time I figured out that I really needed to take some off the sides um, it was too late I I would have I just it was not it was not going to happen <laughs> I made that choice so I just left it as it is and it's just a little bit more roomy than I like it I might try to fix it just seam up the sides and see what happens but I think that it will it probably should be considered a wearable mock-up and then if I make it again in the future, I should just know to take that in, which I will make some markings on the, on the pattern. I have another new look pattern that is like this with an elastic waistband. And so um, I might try that pattern out and just see if, um, you know, if there's any differences to it. But you can see on the pattern, let me, it kind of is blousey. I mean, it's got that box shape anyway. So I think it's just my body type with this pattern is probably not the best match. Um, all being said, I still, I think I did a really good job. I really like it. I think there's not a, a fraying seam in there because they're all enclosed. And I got to experience more, you know, using lace more um, and just, designing it and picking out the lace and um, and the fabric I really had a good time with this project I'm short and sweet today but I really appreciate you stopping by and watching my embrace the lace video please 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 um, go check out Shalisa's and um, sorry Grace's <laughs> I'm very excited to see it myself I we don't show each other ahead of time so when when their videos come out, that's when I get to see it as well. And so I'm very excited to see what the, how theirs turned out. As always, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much for coming, liking, commenting on this video. And <clears throat> please consider subscribing if you want to see more Embrace the Lace. We have another one coming up in just a couple of weeks because we waited so long in July. Um, but there's another Embrace the Lace coming up and it's going to be a fun one so you don't want to miss it. Please subscribe to me or to Lisa or to Grace or all three of us if you would like to get to get the notifications that when our videos come out. So thank you so much. You guys have a good rest of your week and I will see you in the next video. Bye!